morning. Just decided to join a workout with Clint this morning. Getting those guys. <laughs> so they've started already brick, brick laying, which is cool. We just had to throw water all over this. It took one journey of water. It was about 10 minutes work. Easy peasy. Now it's time for food. Currently 10.20. Water's been out all morning, so I haven't been able to have a shower or wash any of my clothes, which has been a big pain. Just realized I haven't washed my teeth. <laughs> but anyway, now I'm going to the tea house to see if they have water so that I can get a drink. I'm thirsty. Um, thirsty. And then at 10.30, we are supposed to be going food shopping for lunch. We're gonna have a nice, light, fruity, and vegetable lunch. Very excited for that. The fruit here is so nice. Just arrived at Jazz's house. We've done a bunch of shopping for about an hour and a half. And we've all arrived. I'm here, Bex is here. Everybody's here. Inside the house. It's such a a big house, look, look at this. But the floor is just like dirt. There's no floor and there's no electricity, so you win some, you lose some. There's holes everywhere in the, in the walls, so it's nice and airy, but again, no floor or electricity. Also, we've had a visit by some people on PPV. Alfie is a dumb and some other people were just chilling. Yes, and I was like, oh, <laughs> so usually I'm just pretty so so with babies or young children. I think they're all pretty much the same, just young. But there's one kid here called McLeaner, and she's absolute angelic. Hey, McLeaner! Hello! Do you want to say hello? Mambo! <laughs> 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 so yeah, McLeana is absolute goddess of a child. She's so cute. <laughs> I don't understand how a baby can be so cute. I've never seen a child look that cute before. I always thought babies were just young kids, like, oh, that's not a big deal. But I, I genuinely think McLeana comes from, is cut from different cloth to the rest of us. Angel. She is cute. <laughs> she is cute. Uh, McLeana! Look at you, McLeana! Just for renting a room and What, McLeana? What? Say Mambo! Mambo! The feast is on, Matt. You've eaten your food. How was it? Fantastic, Art. It was fantastic. It's about half past four, so we ate very, very late lunch. But look, everyone is here eating this amazing feast that we've made. Eating, not eating. Just a bunch of raw fruit and veg, and it's amazing. I killed Everest for Mariam, and I'm super hyped about that. <laughs> Polly Sada Everest. <laughs> It's raining pretty heavily. I'm currently writing my journal by candlelight. It's actually really nice and relaxing with the sun of the rain, the candlelight. But I gotta go to Jazz's again at 8 o'clock for dinner. I don't know how that's gonna happen with this rain. We'll get soaked walking there. It's currently about 7, quarter past 7. So hopefully this rain dies down. <laughs> But then, otherwise we're going to be soaked when we get there. I'll let you know what happens. Max and Ellie are not here yet, but we have Catherine and Clint. Jazz is taking a shower. We have beautiful cleaner to my right hand side. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Oh, I can't sleep. It is half past five. And our day starts at half past six. So we have an hour to get ready. So let's start to the morning. It's currently nine, ten past nine. The fundies didn't even get here like 
we got here at half past six and we were working until eight doing what we could but the foodies didn't even get here till then so just got back from lunch slow morning moving the bricks from this pile all the way to the other side of the pit so that when they get over there they can start building the foundations over there but super slow morning i need to try and get my energy up but hard work just got out of the shower 133 we've got lunch at two o'clock construction was very slow we didn't really have like much digging or like physical work it was just a lot of passing bricks and mixing cement and fetching sand and water and um, all that type of stuff so it was alright but I'm ready for lunch I am starving so I'm kind of tired also yeah Look, it's a dog it's a dog we're not allowed to touch dogs because they might have rabies against rally code of conduct so a panel to touch in that dog I didn't notice until I just watched that clip back but I have a farm I have a really bad vest <laughs> tan <laughs> arms tan and then and then just completely white <sighs> <laughs> just after lunch <clears throat> I'm in the higher spirits now we had to do garlic rice they had cucumber which I was a fan of um, but I left my flip flops at the classroom we're gonna go do a team meeting luckily it's in the classroom but I left my flip flops in the classroom so I have to walk with bare feet because I'm not wearing my boots with my socks <laughs> but yeah Alfie's still here so he's having a fun time chilling with us but yeah um, I'm feeling better now. Hi, energy! It's the rain wind. It's gonna start raining again in a minute. We heard thunder a couple minutes ago, but look at the sky. It's gonna rain and I'm really excited. Are you excited, Marianne? Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Love the rain. Finished the working day earlier today. It's currently 6 o'clock. My energy has dipped yet again. Today's been a really weird day. Um, I'm going to try and get a workout in before I can convince myself not to. Um, it's raining. I don't know. The rain usually gives me energy, but it hasn't today, so. <sighs> Just working, working, working. Keep on swimming, keep on swimming. This is how you know that you worked out hard. Sweat angels for the win. Or maybe not. I just finished my workout. And I feel so ill. I feel like I'm going to be sick every time I stand up. Like I went into that video just then. I literally felt like I was about to puke. Christ. I'm not hungry for dinner. Although today has not been the best day here. I can say that much.